demonstrate here is how you can let the vinyl help you with registration on something as complex as this where we have a grid pattern squares as well as diamonds. So you've got four different directions you're trying to align. Typically it's a bit of a nightmare, but what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that if you don't fight the vinyl, that you're not going to get yourself in trouble and be spending your whole day trying to recover from it. So the first thing obviously is to set your first panel to make sure it's plumb. So I just tried to let this feather and float to make sure that I don't have any torque or twist in the vinyl to start with. And I'm doing one vertical strike there and it locks it in place to keep it from wandering from left to right. So the next panel, we're going to look for two points of alignment up here and down here, and then just try and take all the slack out of what's remaining. The emphasis being not stretching or torquing the vinyl. I've left it a little bit swung this way so I have play to bring it back into the registration. Okay, so I'm aligned here, I'm aligned here, I'm taut between these two points. Now my next objective is going to be to get tension this way and this way, all at the same time to remove all the slack in here. So I'm grabbing where there's still liner and not the area that I pulled because this would stretch. This is still reinforced. So I'm pulling over and up at the same time, and I lock that down. Now everything still falls into place naturally. I'm intentionally going up here because I don't want to introduce any lateral movement in the vinyl. I'm 
you want this one. Reach underneath, get my liner. Okay. Now I just want to let it float down and let gravity do its job. And I'm going to take one swipe straight down the middle to kind of lock it in place from moving left to right. Now I can go back and squeegee these. Now I am not going to stop and look at registration. I'm just going to let this fall where it may and we can judge it at the end. So the point being, you can see that we have a sliver here and there, but we did no adjustment, no tugging, no pulling, no stretching, no changing of direction with the squeegee. It was just the way the vinyl wanted to fall naturally because we spent the extra time in the beginning to make sure that we were aligned before we started. Because right now, our next panel is straight and square and there is no ripple in the pond that started here that will continue to grow and grow as you go down the wall. That's the objective is don't stretch it, don't torque it, don't twist it, don't deform it. Let it do what it wants to do and learn to work with it and you'll be much happier.